Asa Wilson has been the definition of greatness at every level she's played at. She was the best in high school, averaging 24.7 points a game, 13.9 rebounds a game, and 4.3 blocks a game across 119 games, including when she started playing varsity in the 8th grade, while also averaging 35 points a game, 15 rebounds a game, and 5 blocks per game as a senior, which led to her being a McDonald's All-American and the number one women's college basketball recruit in the nation. In college, she continued her greatness, setting multiple SEC records as a freshman, and from there, she would go on to have one of the most decorated collegiate careers in NCAA history. Three-time SEC Player of the Year, two-time SEC Defensive Player of the Year, four-time First Team All-SEC, three-time Consensus First Team All-American, a Consensus National Player of the Year, NCAA Champion, and NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player, and that greatness has translated to the WNBA and international game as well. She's won three gold medals, one in the Olympics, two in the FIBA World Cup. She was the first overall pick in the 2018 WNBA draft by the Las Vegas Aces. As a rookie, she averaged almost 21 points a game and 8 rebounds a game, winning Rookie of the Year and making the All-Star team. And she's had a career that's already Hall of Fame worthy, despite the fact that she is just entering her prime. Four-time All-Star. Two-time All-WNBA First Team, one-time All-WNBA Second Team, one-time WNBA All-Defensive First Team, one-time WNBA All-Defensive Second Team, WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, two-time WNBA League Leader in Blocks, two-time MVP, and after this past season, a WNBA Champion. Basketball is about more than just the NBA. All leagues and levels of the game deserve to be recognized, and Asa Wilson is one of the most successful basketball players at every level of the game she's played at. She's a Hall of Famer just entering the prime of her career, and she deserves to be recognized as one. This is true for just about every sport in the world. Being great at any level of the game is an accomplishment, let alone being great at every level of the game you play at. Which, like I mentioned in the intro of this video, has been the story of Asa Wilson's career. She's been dominant at every level she's played at, and has won at every level she's played at. In high school, college, international, and the pros, she's found success at the highest level. In high school, she put up dominant numbers, was the best player in her recruiting class, and won a state title. In college, she put up All-American numbers year in and year out, was a National Player of the Year, and a National Champion. She's won multiple gold medals and was the FIBA World Cup MVP this past summer, right after winning a ring, mind you. And in the WNBA, she was the number one pick, the best rookie, is in my opinion and many others' opinion, the best player in the league, has won multiple MVPs, won a ring, and really just off her WNBA career alone, she's a Hall of Famer. But I believe that basketball is about more than what you do in your pro career and that we should recognize what you do across all levels. And when you factor in the success that Asa Wilson has had at every level of the game, you get one of the most accomplished American athletes of the last 10 to 15 years. And I don't think that's hyperbole either because the list of athletes that have found the success and have been as dominant at all levels of the game throughout their careers the way Asa Wilson has is a pretty exclusive list of athletes. The case for Asa Wilson being an all-time great player just based off her accomplishments alone is very strong, especially when you consider the fact she's only 26 years old just entering her prime and is only going to add on to an already just all-time great legacy. But it goes beyond the accomplishments, because on tape, Asa Wilson is one of the most fun basketball players I've ever watched. The best way I can describe Asa Wilson as an offensive player is that she's a creator in every sense that you look for. It. She has all the skill in the world, her footwork is incredible, her handle opens up her game as a creator, she's a very fluid mover north to south and east to west, she has incredible body control with good flexibility, her control both on and off balance is special, she has great touch on all her shots, she's a good mid-range shooter, an excellent finisher around the basket, she can face up and back down, she can play the low post, she can play the high post, she's a good passer, she's great at drawing contact, she gets to her spots well, and while she doesn't take many threes, this season she actually started to try taking threes, and she shot 37% on around 2 attempts per game, which is an encouraging sign for your first real season taking 3 pointers, 
and with pretty good shot indicators as far as mid-range shooting, touch around the basket, and free throw shooting, I think this is an area that she can grow in and become even more unstoppable than she already is as an overall player. But it's not just about the skill with Hazel Wilson, like with all great players, she combines her incredible skills with an incredible feel for the game. Hazel Wilson has incredible counters. She's great when everything is going perfectly, but she's also great when things get chaotic. She's great at knowing what to do when a move she does gets cut off or the defense throws help her way. She knows where to find open teammates. She understands just how much defense is respected. But that ability to thrive when things just don't go your way or don't go as planned is what makes you so fun to watch. She scores almost at will no matter what, the defense actually tries to throw her way. So she has off nights like any player does, but for the most part, on tape, her ability to just have a plan for everything, whether it goes as planned or not, is special. And when you add the understanding of how to use counters, how defenses are going to play against you, and being in control even when things don't go as planned, with the skill level that Azo Wilson has, you get in my opinion one of the most effective and entertaining offensive players in basketball to watch. I think me listing out the accomplishments earlier was enough proof of this, but it isn't just about offense with Aza Wilson. She's also an elite defensive player. She's an incredible shot blocker that has great timing and great placement to be at the right spots to contest shots. She's a very strong and physical player and she uses it on defense just as much as she does on offense. She's a great defensive communicator, she has a good understanding of how to get steals and play passing lanes, but most importantly, she has an incredible motor. A motor that allows her to be a great leader on defense and on offense, but also make plays that she may not seem to be a part of at first. It allows her to be effective at the highest level on both the half court and transition settings on defense, and that's what makes her one of the best defensive players in the WNBA. And when you add what you can do on defense to an already great offense, you get a complete superstar. Asa Wilson is one of my favorite basketball players to watch. She's a lead on both ends of the floor. She's dominant at every level of the game she's played at. She's a fun and creative player on tape. And she plays with a contagious energy that makes rooting for her just so easy. In my opinion, she could retire right now and be a Hall of Famer. When you get an already great WNBA resume that's on pace to be one of the best ever based off the way she's been playing and the fact that she's just entering her prime, and then you add on her storied college and international career, it's easy to make the case if you actually pay attention and watch her play, which I would recommend doing if you love basketball because she's an incredible player. In fact, I would recommend watching the WNBA in general because it's really good basketball and it's something to watch in the summer because I know a lot of people are like, oh, there's no basketball in the summer. The WNBA is right there and it's really good basketball to watch. I'm going to be making WNBA content on the channel moving forward. It's not going to be a frequent thing as of right now, maybe a video or two a month, but once the season starts in the WNBA, so the summer, I'm going to be uploading videos about it more frequently. My goal with this channel is to study and talk about the sport of basketball, not just the NBA. I think it's important to recognize great hoops, and the WNBA is great hoops. I don't care what anyone says, four of the best basketball games played this year, regardless of level, were the Seattle-Las Vegas playoff series from the summer, which is something I might make a video about down the line. Now, this isn't me saying that NBA content is going away anytime soon. I'm still going to make NBA content, but at the same time, I'm going to be making videos about other things outside the NBA, like WNBA and draft prospects, among a few other things. Because at the end of the day, basketball is about more than just the best league in the world, and it's my goal on this channel to talk about good hoops in general, not just for one league. So I hope you guys understand but I have a lot of fun things planned out in general, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. That being said, have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next one, and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate.